Hey yo, what's up guys, my name is Lappy. On this video will be different because as you see in the title, we're gonna try the Opera GX, a gaming browser who's supposed to give you a lot of different stuff that the normal browsers don't do. So the thing is that now we're gonna test Opera GX and let's see how good it is. If you read at the beginning, it says get an unparalleled gaming and browser experience with the built-in limiters from CPU, RAM and network usage plus this current Twitch sidebar integration. Well, so as you can see it says that you can like limit the CPU, RAM and network usage if you want. Also you have a tab where you can uh, use Discord, Twitch and other different apps. So this time I'm gonna install it. So I'm gonna click on download. I already downloaded here as you can see here. So I'm gonna install it right now. Okay, now we install it. As you can see, when you open it, it's showing you Opera GX, so it's nice. Okay, now when you install it, as you can see, it's open me this uh, welcome page. So as you can see, it's showing to the tutorial, so we're gonna see because I don't understand too much. Okay, there are six steps, and you see, you can choose your style. Okay, there are several styles of, uh, of how it looks like. On dark, you can use a custom wallpaper if you want, though. As you can see, I'm gonna click on continue. Now your inventory. So you can add the apps that you want, Discord, Instagram, Twitter. Colorize the icon. Okay, continue. Activate another dimension. Okay, browsers enable sounds. Okay, on this thing, if you type, as you can see, you will, see, you will hear your headset when you are typing. There's other like sound of typing. This is kind of nice. Also, as you can see here, when you type something, when you click something, it make a sound. When you go into the tab, so you can see, if you have activated. As you can see here, if you hover. Also, you can put background sounds. That's nice. I'm going to have this activated, but it's nice. Okay, so let's continue. Take control. As you can see. So I activate all of them, so let's continue. And bring your gaming style to mobile. And there you go. Your browser is now fully customized. Feel free to start browsing in the internet. Okay, nice. First of all, we need to test the RAM. If you go to GX Control, you will see here that you can limit your internet like this, your RAM, and the CPU. I'm gonna disactivate it because what I want to test is the RAM and the network. First of all, I'm gonna see if the network limiter it really works. As you can see here, it's not showing me 7 megabytes. We are using 800 kilobytes per second, so I'm gonna put the limiter and I'm gonna put just only 64 kilobytes per second. So if you see, it's reducing right now. We're going down and it's going to 100, 150. As you see, it's using just 50. And it says that it's one hour left. This, and I'm gonna put the limit now on 128. If I go again to the dollar thing, it's going up. As you can see, it's 90, 100, 109, 120, 128. As you can see, it's really working. So, okay, now that you see that this really works, I'm gonna put the maximum possible. I'm gonna disactivate it. And now what well, we're gonna see if the run limiter really works. So I'm gonna open the tax manager here. As you can see, I have the tax manager. If you go to the Opera browser, you will see here that it's using right now 10, 700 megabytes. So if I go to the run limiter, it's showing me 600. So it's the same. As you can see, it's literally the same. So I'm gonna open several tabs. I'm going to the history. I'm gonna open several tabs to see how much RAM it can be used. Okay, it's using 3 GB of RAM and it's using 50 CPU usage. Okay, I'm gonna limit the CPU usage and the RAM. So I'm gonna put limit and I'm gonna put choose one and I'm gonna put limit and I'm gonna put choose the 8%. And the hard limit, we're gonna Turn on as you can see now. If I disactivate the CPU limiter, limiter, the CPU will increase. But if I activate it, it will be reduced automatically. So you, if you see, 
Okay, now I have the round limiter, but we need to act, uh, activate the hard limit if you want to really have just one gigabyte of usage. As you can see right now, it's using 300. So if I activate it, it's gonna start to reduce. As you can see, it's reducing, it's reducing 2.1, 1.2, 1. 1. As you can see, it's reduced. Let me see on, okay, now it's reduced. As you can see, we have a lot of steps open it but it's only one working way to you can see it doesn't have any issue when you uh, uh when we're watching the video but if you switch the tab if you go to another tab as you can see that will say that the tab was snoozed to save memory so as you can see it really works but the thing is that now we need to see if this opera gx consume more cpu sh and ram when we are playing fortnite so what I'm gonna do is uh, reduce the limiter. I'm gonna play some games, which in this case will be Fortnite, and let's see if the FPS will be reduced if we were using Opera GX versus the Google. So now I'm here, as you can see, now I'm gonna uncap the FPS, so if everything goes. I'm going to have uh, the Opera open it, and I'm gonna put a stream. I'm gonna use first the YouTube open it with the stream in one side and the other will be the Google open it in the other side with the same stream with nothing more than just the stream. So you will see the difference of both so you can see who reduced more your CPU usage and the RAM. I'm not gonna put the limiters because I don't wanna like, I wanna make it more fair because if you limit that's 100% true that this will be better. So I'm gonna put the stream, I'm going to battle up to test first. So this will be the test of Opera versus Google. Remember, I'm using the same stream, but the only thing that we're gonna change is the browser. Same stream, different browser to see who give you more FPS. Okay, now you see the difference between it. Now I'm gonna show you the difference between without the browser and versus the browser. Okay, in my opinion, Opera GX do what it says. You can limit your RAM, it can, you can reduce the CPU usage, you can limit the network. That's the only three things that it really do because I don't really know about the test. You will see who is the better between GIF, uh, Google and Opera GX and versus no using and when you are using Opera GX. So, in my opinion, it's good if you want to change your browser because Google takes a lot. In my opinion, I will not use it because I feel more comfortable when I'm using Google because I have been using Google for a while, long time ago. But about the power, if you are a person who used to use Google and you don't have the greatest PC, you should have this browser because it can help you with the FPS. So that's all for this video. If you want to look, if you want to make me try another different apps, just let me know in the comment section and I will try to test. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's see next time. Bye.